If you, the teens you work with, are interested in the universe or science, this app, The Wonders of, Wonders of the Universe, is probably of great interest. Let me show you some of the features and what's included to explain why I think that is. When the Wonders of the Universe app opens, you have a um, you will hear music in the background and you will see the universe growing on your screen. And then the first screen uh, is this one that you're seeing here. And I'm in the introduction section. You can tell that I'm in the introduction section because right up here it says introduction. And also notice down here is a table of contents basically. I'm in the how to use the app section and here it's telling me to tap. One of the things I think is great about this app is the interface and how seamlessly it pulls the information together with audio, video, images, and text. And I'll tell you more about that in the next screens. This introduction page, which gives you information about how to use the app, gives you a sense about how the text is laid out on the page. It always takes up just this middle section of the page. And as it says here, to read text, you simply scroll. So you scroll up the page to read the text. And then one of the most um, useful features of this app, outside of the content, is this interface. And so when you reach an image, which includes an image or a, a static image, a photo, a drawing, a data point, or a um, video, it will automatically grow and take up the full screen. So it expands across the whole screen when you get to an image or a video, takes up the whole screen, videos automatically start playing, images automatically expand to fill up the screen, and then if you scroll back, continue to scroll, that content will go back and fit the internal page section of the screen, and you can keep scrolling and reading. Like I said, it's one of the um, best interfaces I've seen in terms of integrating text and images and, and um, video to make it a seamless experience. So I was showing you in the introduction section, the how to use the app section, but once you've listened and viewed that or not, if you don't want to or need to, you can scroll across the top of the screen and look at different sections of the um, different chapter sections of the app. And once you tap on a, a section, you'll see in the next screen, down below, you'll get more information for subsections of the chapter. The first chapter is the universe, and you see down here are all the different sections. Now, there's even more, and let me show you a little bit of that. Here I am still in the universe section, but you see there's more content here in the universe, birth of the universe, what is light, and chasing the speed of light. So there's all these different kinds of pieces of content, and if you double click on any of these items, they will open up and you can start reading, or viewing, or listening. When I tap on the speed of light section of the menu I showed you before, the text and images and video starts to open. You see that it is loading right here, and this is a movie that I'm going to show you um, a screenshot of in a second that will actually open up automatically. If I don't scroll down the page, it will open up automatically and start playing at the very beginning of this chapter section. So when the movie opens up, you see that it takes up the entire screen from left to right. It's not just the center portion at when you see the text. And it will play automatically, and it will go on for a couple of minutes. And if I don't want to watch it, all I have to do is scroll up, and I'll go back. It will go back to the center, and I will be able to start reading text and looking at other, other content. This is an example of what the text looks like and what the reading um, is like for this app. Now, if I just continue to scroll up, I'll get more and more text until there's no text anymore and it just goes up into the top. And if I want to go back to that table of contents, all I have to do is click on that X. This is an example of me scrolling up. You see I've got some text here. I'm coming into an image. I've got the start of an image expanding, and then 
This is that image fully expanded on the page with a caption to give me a little bit of information about what it's about. And then I just scroll up and the image goes back into the center of the page and I can continue to read. I also wanted to show you that there are diagrams and illustrations in the book. And again, I'm scrolling up. You can even see the scroll bar here. And the image, when I'm on it, will expand to the whole screen. Um, and actually, let me also just show you that I can, when, what happens when you see the full image. This is actually in the Big Bang section of the app, and this is the full image. But what I can do is I can actually um, expand the image, and let me show you that. So if I pinch to expand the image, I can actually get a closer view of each of the sections, and I can swipe my finger across the screen as I'm expanded and see the different parts in more expansive view. So it's really nice to be able to get a close-up look of the different parts of the illustration and get a bit more detail to see what is being discussed. I'm back on the main menu screen that I showed you before, and what I want to also note is that there is a search. So when you click on any of those X's and go back to this menu, you actually can tap on the magnifying glass and do a search. So once I tap on that magnifying glass in the corner, I can start typing in using the keyboard which pops up and I just started typing in PL and you start to get a list of all the um, information indexed in this uh, app that starts with PL and I'm going to select plutonium. And you'll see here that I've selected plutonium and down at the bottom are all the items chapters, content areas of the um, app that include plutonium, and I'm just going to show you periodic table really quickly. Here is the opening of the periodic table app, and the video that opens this um, section uh, will start to play, and I can scroll down, and let me just show you the image of the periodic table that's in the beginning of this section. This is the um, enlarged version of the periodic table that is included in this app. And I think it, again, gives you a sense of the quality of the images and how this app is put together. That is a bit about the Wonders of the Universe app. I think it's a really good option for those of you, like I said, who are interested in science and for teens who are interested in science, it could work out as an app that you might have on iPads in the library or um, put on resource lists and recommend to teens. There's a lot of really useful information that's connected to images and text and um, video that really brings the whole um, experience together and is a good way to help anyone interested in this topic learn about the topic.